Ronald Reagan, two-term president from 1981 to 1989. Pre-presidency. Prior to becoming president, Reagan attended Eureka College and majored in sociology and economics. In 1937, he enlisted in the army and was soon promoted to second lieutenant. Reagan was promoted to captain on July 22, 1940 and was discharged from the army on 19 9, 1945. Between 1945 and 1965, Reagan starred in 53 movies as he was also an actor. His political career began with A Time for Choosing, a nationally televised speech for Arizona Senator Barry Goldwater. In 1966, Reagan defeated Governor Edmund Brown and became the governor of California. He was re-elected in 1970. Reagan announced his candidacy for presidency in 1979 and was sworn into office on November 4, 1980. Chief Legislator Economic Recovery Tax of 1981 Reagan lowered tax rates Social Security Amendments in 1983, Reagan amended Social Security to adjust for new retirees. Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986, Reagan granted amnesty to illegal Im immigrants who entered the United States before January 1, 1982. Reagan also vetoed a total of 78 bills during his two terms in office, and only eight vetoes were overturned. Tax Reform Act of 1986. This was the top tax rate lowered from 50% to 28%. Bottom rate was raised 11 to 15%. As chief legislator, we decided to give Reagan an A-. Most of the bills he passed were generally beneficial to America, and his economic decisions prospered throughout the country during his time of presidency. Guardian of the Economy during Reagan's presidency, unemployment in the U.S. decreased from 7.1% to 5.5%. Reagan used Reaganomics to reduce government spending, reduce income tax rates, and reduce government regulation, and control money supply to reduce inflation. Reagan also sustained growth of the economy. As guardian of the economy, Reagan deserves a solid A. His work to lower income taxes and work with Reaganomics helped improve the performance of the U.S. economy during his time in office. Reagan also maintained a high approval rating throughout his presidency, and because of these reasons, we think Reagan deserves an A. Chief Diplomat Reagan's foreign policy was peace through strength. He organized meetings with foreign leaders in the USSR and China to resolve potential nuclear conflicts. He signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in 1987 with the USSR which required that all missiles with ranges between 300 and 35,000 miles be eliminated by June 1, 1991. A total of 2,692 missiles were eliminated. On June 1987, Reagan made a famous speech challenging Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall. As chief diplomat, Reagan does an A. His method of handling the rising tension between the U.S. and the USSR were nonviolent and very productive. He used tactics such as negotiation and peaceful speeches as opposed to violence and war, and for these reasons, Reagan deserves an A for Chief Diplomat. Commander-in-Chief During Reagan's presidency, the U.S. funded anti-communist insurgents in an attempt to bring down communism. This was known as the Reagan Doctrine. The Reagan administration sponsored the anti sandinist movement known as the Contras against the social socialist Sandinista government in Nicaragua. In 1983, Reagan proposed the Strategic Defense Initiative, Star Wars. As Commander-in-Chief, Reagan deserves a B+. Although he did defeat communism, the tactics he used included supporting rebel non-communist groups, which was frowned upon by many other foreign allies. Many viewed this as funding terrorism. Nevertheless, Reagan protected the American people as best he could and deserves a B-plus for that. Head of State Reagan's most famous appearance was in Berlin, where he declared, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Another famous speech of Reagan's was his 40th anniversary day speech. On January 28, 1986, the space shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after takeoff. 
Reagan commemorated the seven astronauts killed on board in this famous speech, the Challenger Explosion. As head of state, Reagan deserves an A. His speeches brought America together in times of despair and need, and his mastery of English language allowed him a peaceful settlement between the U.S. and the USSR. Through his speeches, he has deserved an A. Chief of Party The greatest indicator that Reagan fulfilled his role as Chief of Party successfully is the fact that he was elected to a second term in office. He won the electoral vote in 49 of 50 states. After his two terms as president, his vice president, George H.W. Bush, was elected president. Reagan helped many Republicans get into office. As chief, as chief of party, Reagan deserves an A. He stayed true to the Republic Party and helped Republicans get into office. Chief Executive. During Reagan's eight years as president, the government mostly functioned well. At the distaste of his conservative supporters, he appointed Sandra Day O'Connor to the Supreme Court. One of the chief executive's jobs is to enforce federal laws. Reagan fired 11,359 federal air traffic controllers due to their involvement in an illegal strike. He felt that they had to be fired because they were endangering public safety, and in my opinion, this was the right decision. As chief executive, Reagan deserves an A-. minus. He fulfilled his role as he saw fit, although not everyone agreed with his firing of the air traffic controllers. He appointed Supreme Court judges and designed a budget that led to growth of the economy, and in the end, this was mostly successful. Reagan's overall grade. Overall, Reagan deserves a solid A. He peacefully defeated communism, through, though in controversial ways. He fulfilled all of his duties as president to the best of his ability and maintained a high approval rating. The economy grew due to a revised budget and he made a decrease in taxes and the unemployment rate decreased during his presidency. His speeches were motivational and portrayed America in a good light. The legislation that he passed benefited almost all Americans. Reagan always worked in the best interest of the American people, and for this, he should receive a gray of no lower than an A.